record your audio at a lower level. The number one problem I hear with people is that they have their audio recordings up too loud. And there's two concepts here that you need to understand. One is the output volume and one is the input volume or input gain. So your output volume is this here, right? So regardless of what you recorded, you can have this anywhere. This doesn't affect whether you clip your signal, whether you get distortion, or whether your audio sounds good, bad, or otherwise. This is just your output volume. But when you're recording, you need to be really careful about setting your input volume. So let's show you how we do that now. So I've got my backing track here. I've set an audio recorded track. We're gonna tap on here to come into the microphone settings. Here we go. If we turn our monitoring on, check, one, two, can you see over there, check one, two, see how that's peaking right up there. It's in the yellow, it's hitting the red. Anytime you get a red, especially those what I call a leave behind, I don't know if it's called that, that's what I call it, but when we get a leave behind like that, it means that you are going over zero dB. That's called clipping, and in the digital environment, digital clipping is absolutely terrible. You don't want digital clipping. Now you might be thinking, Pete, your, your input gain's grayed out there, buddy. What are you gonna do about that? You can't actually change it. Well, that's because I'm using an external audio interface, so you can't see it, but down here, I have my Steinberg UR22C, and that has a simple single dial there for input gain. So what I'll do is if I put the input gain on this microphone all the way down to zero, that's this one I'm holding in my hand here, we turn monitoring on, check one, two, it's only just coming through. See how it's just coming through there? And if I turn this microphone off, hello! You can barely hear me. So that's not going to do it all, right? So we're going to slowly turn this up. So the way that I tend to do this is I'm going to sing like I'm going to sing in this track. I'll turn this mic down. I'll sing into this track. And then we want to get this where your input is hitting between 50 and 70%. If you're up here at 80 or 90, there's a high chance that you're going to occasionally hit 100 and over 100, and that's going to be bad for your sound. So what we'll do is I'll turn off this mic. We've got this mic on, and uh, we will sing and dial it on up. So let's turn this one down. This is how we are going to sing. We're going to turn up our input gain, everyone. We're going to get it all up to 50%. Make sure our peaks are not too high. Yeah, girl. So it's, it's as simple as that. So now when we're singing, oh, yeah, we're not very loud. And this is the thing. A lot of people think, oh, no, my volume, it's so wimpy. It's not going to be loud enough. This volume is almost irrelevant. As long as you're up there, as long as you're not down here, as long as you're up there at 50 to 70%, you're in a digital environment. You've got a very low noise floor. You're going to be able to survive, right? It's going to be able to cope fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this compressor down a little bit. I'm going to turn a little bit of this uh, this reverb down because we've got a little bit of an intense sound. If we turn this back on. And uh, let's just have a quick, quick run through. I just need to work out this backing track. It sounds like this. I think I've got an idea of something to sing here. We're going to sing about input gain and the importance, <laughs> importance of it. Did I mention that I don't actually mind making a fool of myself, especially when it's for your entertainment? So uh, we'll come over to here and we'll hit, actually, I'll show you. Bonai tip, bonus tip, because we want to watch it on this screen, I'm going to use the dummy track method. I've showed this before, but it's super cool. Uh, we're going to hit plus here. We're just going to add another audio recorder track here. But this time, because I'm using a two channel interface, I'm going to pop this onto channel two, leave monitoring off on this one. And this is just going to act as a dummy track. So we're going to grab this track and we're going to bring it all the way up here under our other track. And there you go. So we're recording on both of these tracks now. See how we've hit the record light on both of them? But I only want to monitor on this one. And so we're going to be recording across these two tracks. It just means I'll be able to see my backing track, right? All right, let's just play again to make sure we're right. I'm going to turn this mic down. We're going to be over on this one. We're going to record some reggae. When you got to set your input gain You don't want it to hide Or you will get your digital clipping And nobody likes it And your mum won't like it too, yeah girl What do you reckon? We good? 
If anything, we were probably a little bit high. And this is the thing. You got unlimited retries. So we're going to just uh, come in here and take a listen to this. Now, I don't recommend soloing a vocal, but just to listen back to make sure that we're not clipping, we're not getting distortion. Let's just try this. We hit play. When you got to set your input gain, you don't want it too high, or you will get your digital clipping, and nobody likes it, and your mum won't like it too, yeah, girl. All right, I think we're cool. <laughs> So if anything, it's probably a little bit crispy. You can you can change that. But the good thing is you notice there that we're not peaking. Now this is where I want you to, to take a really close look at this. If this is too quiet now, if you're like if you're bringing this into the mix, in fact, let's bring it into the mix and we'll mix this because if we double tap, that's our normal gain that we have there. If we play this back, what we can do is actually adjust this volume, and you'll notice that no matter where I put this volume, we're not going to get clipping. I'll show you. When you got to set your input gain, you don't want it too high, or you will get your digital clipping, and nobody likes it, and your mum won't like it too, yeah girl. There you go. So you'll notice here, these leave behinds, these are on our output channel. So it's still not a great idea to have your gain up too high or your volume up too high on the output, but it's not actually clipping. Your clipping happens on the input. Your clipping happens when you record it. It's not here on the output. That's why when you're using a virtual instrument, you don't really have to worry that much about clipping. So if I grab this French horn and turned it up too loud, is this gonna actually go up there? No, it's too low. So is there anything here that's maybe this Latin rock piano, if I turn this up too loud, is this gonna? Yeah, so see how that's doing that? That's just because I've got the output set. But this is a virtual instrument. This doesn't actually have the ability to clip because it's a virtual instrument. It's recorded. It's just sampled sounds that it's putting in there. So it's actually going to be fine. Uh, now, just because I'm a bit pedantic here, I want to actually uh, add some effects to this. So uh, as you know, we can come in here, we can start tweaking this. So uh, I don't have the the auto, I don't have auto tune on this one. So uh, we kind of want that because it's a reggae song and I missed a couple of those notes. I'm going to come in here and we're going to change this from uh, lead vocals. Oh yeah, we do. Sorry. We're on lead vocals. We have pitch control. So let's t pain us up a bit and let's add a little bit more vocal haul on here. And because again, it's a reggae style, we need some delay. So we're going to add some master echo in here and we'll do some, uh, maybe some eighth note echo. Uh, where we go. Or maybe, yeah, we'll do some dark eighth note echo. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what this comes out like. <laughs> oh, it's always fun, isn't it? All right, so here we go. This is uh, my new song called uh, Don't You Clip. Sure. When you got to set your input gain, you don't want it too high, or you will get your digital clipping, and nobody likes it. And your mum won't like it too, yeah, girl. All right. Yeah, you got that. Well, 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 well. That, uh, yeah, that uh, eighth note, the bit of a reggae beat uh, when you got that sound. When you got to set your input gain, you don't want it too high, or you will get your digital clipping. Oh, man. We have a lot of fun around here, don't we? Things don't always go exactly to plan, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? If you're not having an absolute blast creating music, then what are you doing? Like, you might as well. Yeah, this is fun. This is fun times. This is the good things in life, <laughs> is creating music. And again, because we're in a digital system, you've got unlimited retries. There you go. Don't set your input gain too high. Listen to Reggae Pete. Set your input gain at 50 to 70%.